reading between the lines, having worked in advertising for a long time, what I think they're saying is nobody's reading our articles anymore. So we're going to ask our journalists to start recording the interviews so that you can see them and hear them and engage with them and then maybe follow up by reading the article. But that's a great thing, honestly, because it gives you a level. So so I got the ink column because of the podcasting. So I podcasted, yeah. I got the ink column, and then I got a book. I wrote mm-hmm. a book based on all that, right? So like that all kind of tied together. What was interesting about putting the column together, I would interview a very interesting person and I would write about the parts I thought were interesting, right? Like I would, and it would be great for someone to see the interview because I would always talk to them about a lot more than that, but mm-hmm. I, only had five, I was only supposed to give them 500 words, right? Like that's what mm-hmm. they were, 500 word article, blah, blah, blah. And you might have said 2000 words worth of interesting things, but I got to pull out the 500 I thought were interesting and, you know, put it into a package of I'm going to talk about this or whatever. So yeah. I, that's a, that could be a really smart model. Oh, you I, can, think, I think it's a very clever model and, and I think it will work for a lot of people. I think what, what that's doing is changing the game though, because yeah. at the moment podcasting is very organic. You can have a lot of success very organically. But if these businesses, you know, these media businesses, and, and pretty soon it's not going to be long before Amazon have a podcast and Apple have a pod, yeah. you know I mean? have a series of them. And once that happens, there's going to be a lot of money in in advertising. It's when we're going to start seeing the the evolution, like we did with YouTube, where you couldn't watch a video without there being loads of adverts in the middle. Podcasting is going to go exactly the same way. So whilst there is still an opportunity, to, and you should grab it with both hands, like if you're listening to this and you're not instantly talking to one of us two about how you do this, there's no help for you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there isn't, right? But if you know, for every Netflix, there is a blockbuster. Right? Right? So, all this morning, there is no help for you. <laughs> there's no help for you. You're but, but, but seriously, yeah. you have to embrace this right now because it's only going to get harder from this point. Well, and if- and the way to build reputation, like when we work with clients and they want to get their people on stages, and, and this is a trick I told people too. Like when I would write my column, I would go look at someone's social media presence and go look at what they've done. And if mm-hmm. they haven't done anything interesting, I wouldn't write about it. Yep. So it wasn't that the pitch was bad, right? Like you'd send me this great PR pitch. And I'm like, okay, yeah, interesting. And then I go Google the person and look up their social media. I'm like, okay, well, if I write about you and I spend all my time thinking about you, you're not going to share it. You're not going to promote it. There's not going to be any, there's nothing in it for me. Right. Nope. And I got paid by people viewing and reading my stuff. And so, sure. you know, running into that kind of concept of, of getting yourself into a place where your people are known, like if you're working with a company, makes it much easier for them to then get the bigger deals you want, oh, right? Sure. Like stage stage presentations and things like that. So. Well, it's that, it's that prime digital real estate. So you just said, you know, you're going to Google the person and check out their social media. Every time you release a podcast, I mean, even if you're just on a basic aggregator, it releases it like five times because it goes to like iHeartRadio, it goes to Spotify, iTunes, wherever, right? It goes off to all these different places that you uh, Google podcast now as well, of course. Um, uh, you know, it goes off to all these places, but that's like five separate places already that you, you've taken per episode, right? Then every time you release one of those clips that we were talking about from being repurposed, that then makes its way to the search engine as well. And Google loves content. There is no there is no other way of wording this. Like if you want to bring the Google God, we have to serve yeah. the, Google, and the Google God wants content. Yes, a hundred percent. I mean, look if you if just do any search on anything on Google, right? The first two or three are sponsored and paid to be there. That what's the very next thing you see? It's a big line of content for you to engage with. It's videos, yeah. it's images, because that's what Google wants you to consume. So. If you're having these podcasts and claiming all this prime digital real estate and then breaking that down even further into little bites, which then are authentic and organic pieces of content that you can put on things like LinkedIn, which is an incredible tool at the moment to be doing this stuff with, like you can become known as the go to brand for what you do through your personality. Right. I know you want to push your business because everybody wants to push their business. 